Let me see some identification. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I played four hours of Star Wars Outlaws, the all-new open-world Star Wars game from Ubisoft, which lets you play around in the scoundrel-filled underworld of the Star Wars universe. So in this video, I've compiled my thoughts, my hopes, criticisms, and more. We'll go over the missions I played, the gameplay mechanics, visuals and details, as well as things I believe this game will offer in this new third-person adventure. So strap in, we're headed into hyperspace. Time to jump. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh, I thought you were one of them. Huh? So before we begin, I just wanted to give a massive shout out, massive, <laughs> to Massive Entertainment and to Ubisoft for letting me play this early. Everything you're about to hear in this video from me is my own thoughts and experiences. There is no paid sponsor of this video at all. So with that being said, let's jump in. So a few weeks ago, I was asked if I was interested in playing Star Wars Outlaws early. And I know for a Jedi like me, that sort of thing kind of happens all the time, right? So I accepted and I got to play about four hours virtually. So I didn't physically go anywhere. It was actually kind of like streamed to my PC almost. And I got to interact with the controls and everything like that. So um, also this is on a controller. So a lot of gameplay is very kind of weird for me because I was used, I'm used to a, a keyboard and mouse, but so they suggested that I only use a controller with this build. So this is all controller gameplay, by the way. So, um, so it's a little rough. So to start off the gameplay, it uh, was kind of like a cutscene, and I tell you what, what a beautiful cutscene this is. Take a look. So after the initial cutscene, we start getting into some trouble and this is where we kind of like learn how to uh, use this like multi-select enemy mode where you can kind of uh, blast multiple enemies at once and it is really cool. It's like a pretty cool mechanic that I did enjoy and some people are going to think that that's kind of a casual thing but that's fine. This is a uh, fantasy story driven game and not exactly like a hardcore shooter or shooter simulation type of game how you're an off worlder and this ship of yours isn't gonna fly anytime soon wow nice and if you guys do find yourself enjoying the video please leave a like for me leave me a comment down below what you like about the gameplay and what you don't like about the gameplay let me know in the comments So before long, we find ourselves on the speeder bike and uh, controlling it was pretty cool with the uh, controller. Pretty easy uh, to do. I did kind of slip and slide around a little bit, just kind of testing it out and seeing how it really handles. And it, it does. It feels pretty good. I would like to see how this feels on PC, but uh, with the controller, it was pretty good. I uh, was a little inaccurate because, I, like I said, I'm not used to the controller. But here we can see where you can select the multiple enemies on the speeder bike and kind of take them out. They go flying and screaming. You there? The comms are working? Yeah. Hey, these bandits are still after me. Resistant? Get to Miragana. That's pike turf. No. She's going towards the city. That's pike territory. Turn back. And then here you can see I'm rolling a bit to Miragana, which is the capital city of Kishara, which is a moon that has been created 
specifically in the universe for this game. The trailblazer. With those, at least we'll be able to fly. All right. A queen, if that's what you're asking. No contraband here. I'll be the judge of that. Show me your stock. So by this point, I'm actually entering into Miragana City. So while this area is under Imperial control, we did meet some Imperial security at the gate here. No problem. Just uh, kind of give them a little fake name. Kind of works every time. You know what I'm saying? So inside here, you start seeing the city really come alive and you see all this detail everywhere you look it's just totally immersive it's absolutely uh, it's pretty incredible just every little detail that they've pretty much handcrafted into this world is is like it's just so immaculate so i saw a number of different things to see and do that these uh savic tables you can sit down and learn to play savic unfortunately you do have to have credits to play so i wasn't able to capture any savic footage for you guys arcade games and lots of different interactable objects around this whole area which is really really cool to see um lots of different things you can do in different areas of this little main city here it's pretty cool hey you want to so around the cantinas you can meet these the interesting yeah, npcs that right. may be or may not be a little shady there. that can uh offer you some side hustles or interesting sort of jobs you can also find these jukeboxes around that you can uh interact with and change the background music which is pretty cool because you can like kind of select your own sort of ambiance, whichever one you like there. Oh, there we go. Hmm, that looks like an underboss. Hmm, that looks like an underboss. Hmm. Hmm. This is Governor Thornton City. Not yours. <laughs> Drag him out! And tell the governor the payments will not increase. I don't know you. What? You never make new friends? I have enough friends. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to pay me to hang out with you. So I really felt like the voice acting and the cutscenes and everything was absolutely incredible for what I played. It was like so cinematic. And you never see any loading screens or anything like that. It's always covered up with the cutscene. So you're definitely covering up loads at different points, but like it's awesome the way it does it. It's so immersive. Hey, wait, what's your problem? Smart enough to get into my suite? Careless enough to use Walker's name. <sighs> you're new to this world. Come back when you're not. <sighs> what a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Nix is a little God, thief confirmed. <laughs> So there are certain areas that you have to pretty much do stealth. Um, there are other areas that you can kind of choose 
but then there's like areas kind of like this where you have to stay hidden otherwise you kind of have to restart that area if you're found so it's not always like that some other times you can kind of play it however you want uh loud or stealthy but uh yeah in this part you have to not be found or you can take them out like this give him a little gut punch in the end there So here's a little area that I found that you have to use Nyx to hold this uh, little door open while you shoot this. So that way you can actually get through to the next area here. So Kay also has a grappling hook ability in certain areas that you can use and um, it's pretty pretty cool here because it just felt so cinematic uh it reminds me kind of like a uncharted feel or something like that this pike operation looks huge they must have a sweet deal with the empire <gasps> there's the tower hmm, that energy barrier might be a problem though okay nix we can go loud now if we gotta here, Kay and Nyx kind of had this large warehouse to work through, and you kind of have to kind of figure out how to use Nyx to try to stay stealthy and not to go loud so you don't have to shoot a bunch of guys in the face and get shot in the butt at the same time and all that sort of deal. And there's the alarm. Well, at least we got something. Here's a little extra B roll of some of the combat just to give you guys a little more taste of that uh, third person combat here. You can also use with these shield guys you can kind of use nyx to distract them as well so that's a that's a good tactic here Get him, nyx. so i want to go ahead and move into the space Input combat flying gameplay um there is a limit of like 20 minutes of gameplay for the video so i have to keep it moving along but uh here we go into the space combat section. This is where the music really shines. Check this out. So I felt like the uh, space combat was a little difficult for me, uh, just being on controller and first time. I'm sure it's something you'll figure out with it, a little bit of practice and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of messing around with the controls and seeing if I could blow up any ships or anything like that. But uh, really fun time flying in space. And then of course, yeah, like I said, the music is excellent. Wow, welcome to Planet Kajimi. I know this is another cutscene, but wow. The cutscenes are fantastic in this game. I think most Star Wars fans are going to heavily enjoy. With mercenaries. You don't want to get in a fight with someone who carries around a blaster cannon. Right, or maybe they know, help me Kaya. out with some heavy weapons. So this is You're Kajimi City. Long way from home, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Nix. Maybe they got some good snacks here. Hey, is Ank around? Ank? What, she owe you credits too? Good luck. Why? What happened? Well, 
The Ashiga finally caught her. Got a couple million credits to pay off in the factory. At her age, with a debt like that, she's in there for life. Huh. That complicates things. Hey, if she gets out, tell her she's got a tab to pay. So I wanted to take the rest of this gameplay and give you my thoughts and conclusion. Since this was streamed to my PC, I do not know the hardware it was running on. My guess it's running on like a higher end rig, like a really high end rig, uh, 4090, something, you know, with a great processor and memory and everything like that. Um, I saw no signs of struggle, frame drops, stuttering, etc. All the gameplay that I experienced was absolutely beautiful. Um, there were some systems that felt a little clunky, but I figured that had more to do with me being on a controller and the first time playing this and less to do with the actual game. I hope the fans of story driven and open world games like this will like and receive this game well. Fans of Star Wars should absolutely open their eyes to this game because when Outlaws drops on August 31st, it's sure to be a banger. Uh, by my standards, I mean, everything I played was so fun. I was ready to play more right after the four hours was done. And uh, there's going to be a lot to do in this game. And I hope you guys really enjoy it. Uh, go pick it up. If you don't want to drop the uh, massive price tag, get it on Ubisoft Plus. It's $17.99, I think, US uh, per month. And you get day one access to Outlaws as well. I do hope you guys liked the video. If you did, on your way out, please toss me a like or a dislike if you really didn't like the video. But um, go ahead and drop me a subscribe and then also leave me a comment. How did you like the gameplay? What did you think it, uh, how did it make you feel? What did you like about it? What did you dislike about it? What did you hate about the video? Let me know down in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next one. Melted Jedi out. You need to back away right now. Fine, I hear you.